So here we are scanning a sofa. The data turns green and yellow, indicating we've captured it. This is the real-time feedback. I can stop and take a high-resolution photo. All of this is being captured on a Samsung Note 9 phone, and uh, connected to the back of it is a an Intel RealSense D415 sensor. So I'm walking around the sofa, just capturing it from different angles, just filling the scene in. The I'm going to take another still photo. And we'll end the capture here. I'll save this file. And then I'm going to optimize it. All the processing is done right on the device. Next, what we're going to do is uh, view the high-res photos. And you can see the camera icons in the scene. There are one, two, three, four, five, and these correspond to the images on the side. So if I select an icon, it's indicated here. If I select another icon, it takes me to the part of the scene where I captured it, or not select another icon, select a photo. So I can navigate through the 3D scene in 2D by selecting the photos. And if I do a long press on the images, I get the uh, still photo. We can look at some of the other images. And of course we can go back to the point cloud. I'll turn off the uh, high-res frames. Next, what I'll do is I'll set up a coordinate system. It automatically set up this coordinate system based on the scene. That looks pretty good. So then what we can do is take a measurement. And I'll pick a point here. And you see the little magnifying glass on the upper right-hand corner. And I'll pick another one here. And uh, it's... Uh, 54 inches across from those two points. And you can see the elevation of the second point is just a little bit lower, about an inch lower than the, than the first point. That looks about right. Next, what we can do and is make an annotation. And these annotations are preserved. Okay. And then uh, lastly, I can uh, share this with Gmail. And I'm going to just mail this to myself. And scroll down here. That's a 10 megabyte file, very small. Okay, we'll send that.